Hello everyone and welcome to the common corner. Let's adjust the camera a little bit. Um, I hope that the sunlight isn't too bright for you. Um, it is indeed another sunny day in London that keeps surprising me. Um, I'm here today just for a quick catch-up video. I was supposed to do quite a bit of a longer video this weekend, but I think it's just the kind of time of year where my calendar just fills up really, really quickly. So I basically have about 30 minutes free <laughs> of my own personal time um, during the daylight for the entire weekend. So I'm using this 30 minutes to have a chat with you guys. Um, but I also have to edit and, um, well, it's not, there's not going to be much editing this time around, but I have to quickly edit and also post the video within the 30 minutes. So I guess in the end, we're going to have about 10 minutes of chatting time here. Um, I'm sure I'm going to run over that time a little bit, but yes, thank you for joining me. I hope that you're also having a lovely weekend just as I am, although it is a little bit of a busy one. But I wanted to just take you along with me to the days of past days of the past week. Let's see where we are at. Yeah, here we go. The days of the past week and have a little chat about it. Um, I'll go through my pages and uh, things that I've been kind of up to. I just really love catching up with you guys. So hence, I still wanted to make the time to make a little video, um, despite there not being a lot of time. But yeah, um, so last Sunday I made this page over here. Uh, it has its usual kind of spread that uh, goes over the two pages, uh, which I had time to make on Saturday. On Sunday I just filled up this page, but I think I had a bit of a technical mishap where I was recording a voiceover and I had gotten to minute 27 and the voiceover was supposed to be 28 minutes long and the software that I used to rec uh, record those um, voiceovers and edit my videos crashed and I lost all of it so I ended up then posting the video on the following day and um, I did watch on Sunday the one thing that wasn't yet included uh, in last week's video is that I watched a movie kind of the only Moomin movie that there is. It's called um, Moomin, and, Moomin Troll and the Comet, I think, or Comet in the Moomin Valley, something like that. But they have um, a full movie of it on YouTube and I really recommend it. It's quite a lovely one. Yes, uh, just be aware the Moomin theme is going to continue for the next couple weeks at least. Uh, they've been bringing me so much uh, joy and calmness and I think some of you guys have also been watching the episodes um, after my video last week. Let me know how you like them, I hope that you do. But yeah, um, the moving theme will continue. I did manage to post the video on the next day after my day at the hospital. Uh, so I'm training in hospitals right now as a medical student on Mondays and Tuesdays. and. Um, yeah, so I did that on Monday, but did not have time to kind of fill in the whole page. So as per usual, I have this, um, like, how should I put it? Whenever I'm backfilling pages, I put a little box around the backfilled section if I'm backfilling it more than a day after. So I have that ready to go, but I just haven't had a chance to backfill it. Um, the next day, I once again had another day at the hospital and did not have a lot of time to write, but then I backfilled this yesterday, talking about the um, pages in my commonplace book that I had recently finished um, around coffee culture. So yes, and I'm starting another similar kind of spread with new cafes that I'm trying out and uh, writing about. Yes. Okay. Then on Wednesday and Thursday, the theme very much continued I had time to fill up about half of the page on each of those days and have done quite a bit of backfilling yesterday when I had like a little moment in a cafe by myself when I was waiting for my friends to arrive. So I had some time, but it has been a strange week. I think last uh, in last week's video I mentioned how busy I had been during that week and I think that business really caught up to me and I've been extremely tired this past week and 
I'm really grateful for the comfort that my pages have given me where I've had the chance to write about those feelings uh, even if it is just for half a page and then once I started to feel a little bit better a little bit more alive yesterday I went in and backfilled them um, but it was nice because I wasn't I never like forced myself to fill a whole page it usually happens because I just have that much to say <laughs> but when I am tired there often is almost half a page uh, left blank just like here and I will go in and then backfill it whenever I feel like it sometimes for example there were some pages when I went to Finland um, about three weeks ago that I think are still yet to be filled in from last month and if they never do that is absolutely okay yeah just here if they never do that's absolutely okay but yeah it happens sometimes and that's okay <laughs> and then on Friday it was once again like just a couple paragraphs I had a busy studying day so Mondays and Tuesdays I'm in the hospital Wednesdays Thursdays and Fridays I'm studying for my final exams Thank you for all the wishes of good luck for my exams. Um, I really appreciate them from the previous couple of videos. <laughs> so yes, Friday was a, a strange one. I had had insomnia on Thursday night. So Friday was a struggle, I must say. I did just the bare minimum, which is okay, which is always okay. And then I filled the other half of the page with some rambling about the movements which have been mentioned multiple times already and yesterday um, I met up with my dad who is on a work trip and he stopped by London before he continued on um, to East Asia for his trip and he took me to this really lovely cafe in um, I want to say South Kensington no not South Kensington um, it's called Egg Break, Notting Hill, Notting Hill, yes, in Notting Hill. And we had a really great catch up uh, and he's a big fan of my books. So we were talking about that quite a bit as well. And it was really, really fun. And um, he brought back, actually, which this is a really interesting thing. He brought back this book that I was a huge fan of when I was very, very young, like I'm talking like a toddler. I was a big fan of this one book that I will now go get for you. Um, <laughs> it's by the creator of Moomins, Tuve Jansson. And it's just this book that is really, really beautifully illustrated, as you can see. And um, yeah. <laughs> and he brought back, he, he brought it back to me from my, from my home in, in Finland. Um, as we've been talking about moments more and more he thought I would enjoy it and I certainly do I do need to fix it because when I was a kid I read it so much that all the pages are falling out and it's like also the spine I need to fix that as well so <laughs> it's a very well loved book but within the pages of the book he had included actually some stickers um, he truly gets me <laughs> he had actually included some stickers um, of the moving characters and especially I love the Grok. Uh, she's this ice cold character that loves like mm, she usually comes out during winter time mostly and uh, she always makes this grizzling sound that's quite uh, creepy I would say but I still really love this character and I might actually use this alongside with another Okay, this plant is not really doing me any favors right now. Let's move her a bit to the side. Um, she's growing bigger, so yeah. Uh, alongside with this um, beautiful flower sticker, I feel like maybe I could use these two, like the flower sticker and the uh, the grog uh, sticker for the decoration of my next avec. So that's actually coming quite soon. This book is finishing in the end of June and the next one begins beginning of July but I of course want to set it up before that time uh, so I'm thinking in a few weeks time I'm gonna do a video where I'm setting up the um, the book but I'm also decorating the front cover such as I have done with this avec and I'm thinking of using the stickers maybe somehow uh, I might end up changing my mind but yeah we will see we will see 
Um, but yes, these are the stickers I got and this is actually the Moomin House, which is the same um, thing that I have on my charm here. <laughs> Just here. It, it looks identical, basically. Yeah, uh, so he got me these stickers and I'm really, really excited to use them. And I already used up a couple from this page, which is just the flowers on the page for Saturday or Friday, actually. Yeah, um, but I had a, I've had a really lovely weekend so far. It has been very active and very social. And after seeing my dad, I went to see some friends. Um, and when I was waiting for the friends, I filled up these pages and I also did some backfilling, as I mentioned earlier. And with my friends we hang around in Chinatown of London, in central London and I also went to the Pop Mart shop. I have been wanting to get one of these um, Warmth series Pop Marts for ages. I think it's the School Panda. So Pop Mart is the bigger company I believe and then School Panda is the... yeah School Panda is kind of the these little creatures that have um, a very specific look to them and they have different series and this one is the warmth series as you might be able to see and I'm sure that a lot of you are familiar with this but basically there's 12 or 13 actually different um, characters and you get a random box and then you open it up and then you get one of them and there's one secret character that you don't know what it's gonna look like but all of the rest of them are here and I got this as a gift for my youngest sister for Christmas and she got the loosening character which is like this the character who's in a bathtub um, this little wooden bathtub and it's very very cute and and like calming and I really wanted to get my own ever since that because I saw how beautiful they are so I got my own and I opened it while me and my friends were having dinner at this really really nice Hong Kong style restaurant and I opened it and I got this beautiful little one it's the mind with the wind character and at first I was like ah oh, I don't know what I think about it because I think I recognize myself too much within this character <laughs> so in a way it's all already like so familiar to me I wanted to get one of the characters that like are something totally new like something that I can't see myself as if that makes any sense for example the little character with the birds like I'm not the one to be a big I don't know I don't feed birds in the in the park or <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense um, basically I'm in the park all the time relaxing and sunbathing just as this little character is so in a way this character is like so familiar to me because of that because I can relate to it so much and I am a big fan of surprises so I, I'm always looking for something that's really different from what I expected so because of that I was looking forward to get one of the characters that I kind of can't relate to and then in a way I'll get to get a new feeling through the character. So this one was something that's very familiar to me but in a way now I've grown very very fond of it because of that reason. Um, but I will try not to splurge and collect all of the rest of them. Yes, I just really love the soft colours here and the green. Uh, actually like I, I do my makeup very similarly to this character where there's like this big pink plush, blush um, under the eyes um, and then my clothing is also quite often a bit muted like earth toned colors although today I'm wearing like this um, vest that's very much not earth toned but <laughs> I was feeling it um, yeah and as you can see there's a lot of green uh, usually in my in my pages um, I say that but actually it's not really true I do like green though green and pink <laughs> yeah anyway what I want to say that I say is what I want to say is that I'm a big fan I'm a big fan of these and it will be sitting on my desk keeping me good company um, but yeah today is Sunday uh, I've just had some late lunch and I'm about to head to I'm about to head to Tate Modern which is a big museum in London and they do this huge, huge book fair um, this time of year for Saturday and Sunday. And so today is the last day of it and it ends at 6 p.m. It's currently about 3.30. So I have a good chance to go and enjoy some of the books from there. 
um, let's see if I pick anything up I will make sure to show it next week but I have not had any time to tune into my book yet but I do hope to do that in the evening or even if I do leave it blank at least I'll have a fun time back filling it later on in the week um, but yes that's it for this week I just wanted to do a quick catch up with you guys show what kind of things I've been working on in my pages um, my weekly page is looking the same as usual um, except quite busy as you can see there was something happening every single evening um, uh, no not every single evening like something that is a lot happening every single day so um, quite busy indeed and I did re get really really tired towards the end of it but I will try to take it easy for the rest of the day even if I am seeing friends um, and yeah thank you for joining me in this small little video I do hope that next week is going to be a bit calmer which it definitely does look like it. this is next week um, I've yet to note anything down so it, it's hopeful that I'll have the weekend to make a little bit more of a structured video for you guys and I'm excited to chat you chat to you then um, yes so until next weekend take care of yourself and I will see you then Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.